Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's treasure trove video, we're going to have a look at ancient Chinese style. There is so many blind boxes that feature Chinese style, I just had to do a treasure trove video for them. I've always really been into ancient style. Back when the majority of the world had kings and queens, the fashion was quite luxurious. Now when it comes to Chinese fashion, I'm not as familiar with the names as I am for Korean or Japanese fashion. But if you are and you want to share the traditional names for some of the outfits we'll get in today's video, let us know down below. And I think the first one we'll have a look at today is Aroma Princess Dun Huang. And this is a collab between Mellet Works and Sugar Pocket. And the packaging for this series is just so beautiful. I love the design of it. The gold on the front just looks incredible. And we can see on both sides of the box drawing pictations of what the characters look like. It looks like we have 10 in total on both sides. I've only opened up Aroma Princess once before on my channel and it was a really interesting series. So I'm excited to see who we get for this. And this series is really beautiful. I think I love a lot of these. Now this has definitely more earth tones and colors that I probably won't normally gravitate towards. So I'm really interested to see these in person. But there's a lot of designs that I think are beautiful. And then there's two figures that you have two illustrations of, but it looks like just different shots from the front and from the side for our secret edition. So the ones that are in the two boxes are our secrets. I'm really excited to see who we get for this one. I definitely think this Aroma Princess series is better than the other series that I opened. A part of me was kind of tempted to get a full case of these. All right, let's go ahead and open up our first one and see who I got. Ooh, I love the bag for this one. Ooh, it has all the gold all over it. And we can see the brand logo on it for Mellet Works. Ooh, this is such a pretty bag. I love when the bags are super pretty. And the figure is really big, just like the box. The box is pretty big too. So it looks like this is gonna be a very tall figure. Let's go ahead and have a look. One, two, three. Wow, this one is incredible. And here is the incredible card for our figure. This is so beautiful. You could totally use it as a bookmark. It's stunning. And the name for our figure is Tongling. And I believe it's the name of a prefecture. Our beautiful princess is mesmerizing. I kind of knew what to expect with this series, as I said, more earth tones, but I think I had totally forgotten about the clear vinyl elements that took me by surprise. This one is just so beautiful. I absolutely adore the color of it, the green with the copper paint everywhere, and I love the hair. The hair is definitely my favorite thing about this figure. It's so beautiful. And we have our bronze bells everywhere, and it's just such a cute figure. I think this is a really hard one to start off with because I don't think anything can beat how pretty and detailed this is. There's just so much going on with this figure. It's hard to pick out one particular thing to talk about. I do love the outfit though. We have these really slouchy pants and kind of a bandana top. And I think just the bells everywhere are just so cool. And I love the clear vinyl. I don't think it'll glow in the dark, but it's a really pretty color and the ombre on it is amazing. I just love all the details for this. So I think this is probably going to end up be my favorite, but I definitely would get more of these. I don't know if I'll get a full case, but I definitely will get more. The only downside is I can see people maybe not liking the face on this figure. What a great start to the video. I'm not even sure what we could follow up with. Maybe let's go for Ancient Travel Zutan. This is from Finding Unicorn and the artist Malinta. And for this series, we have 12 designs and two secret editions. I'll make sure to put secret editions up on this screen if they're not on the side. And I definitely love the packaging for this series. It's very festival themed. And for this series, I'm not sure which ones I'm going for. I do really like the frog and the pig holding the kite. I never seem to get from Finding Unicorn series when they have like a little animal character. I always get the main figure. 
But I think if we did get a figure, Miss Summer is beautiful. But I think I'm kind of just hoping for a animal figure. I think that would be really cute. And the one we have on the front is super cute as well. I think I'm really going for something purple and pink. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the plastic for this. And I don't think I got a small animal one just because this bag or box, I mean, feels pretty big. But let's see what the bag inside looks like. Oh, and we have a super big weight. Ooh, okay, never mind. I changed my mind. This weight was really heavy. I think I might have gotten an animal one. Ooh, wouldn't that be exciting? And look at this beautiful bag. I do love finding unicorns custom bags. We have a bunny in a lotus and this beautiful window with some fireworks and the sun at the same time. All right, let's see who I got. One, two, three. Oh, I did get one of the ones that is Zuton. And it looks like we have a stand and I think an accessory for the hand. And here is our card for the character Joy. And our Joy Zutan looks ready to go to a festival with our bunny lantern. And I love the hairstyle. The hairstyle looks so beautiful. The hair is definitely my favorite thing about the figure. I think the only downside is that this one is red, which is probably bound to happen because red is a very common theme for colors when it comes to Chinese fashion. I'm not a huge fan of the red color though, so this probably isn't my favorite we could have gotten from this series, but the outfit is still super cute. And you will see that we do have a stand for this character. It doesn't really need it. I'm not sure why this series always comes with the same stand. It's kind of like a apple. They do stand pretty well on their own. I'm not a huge fan of figures with stands. I think this one is really cute though. The black hair with the red color looks great. And I like the facial expression we have on our Zutan. Looks like a very excited and happy face. I don't know if I would buy any more of Ancient Time. I do really want the pig one flying the kite though. That one I love so much. I do think this series is really cute. It's probably my second favorite Zoltan series. I'm just so in love with Dreamy Stage. And who should I open up next? Maybe we should do Laura Chinese Style from Toy City. And the art is Laura Arts. For this series, we have nine designs and one secret edition. And the secret edition is a mermaid. It is super cute. I would love if we got that one. And the rest of them are all mythical creatures, which is definitely my jam. This was another series I debated getting a full case of. I think I really like the jade rabbit, and I really like the white tiger or the black ox. Although I don't think I've ever heard of that creature before. It looks really pretty. Even the howling celestial dog looks really cool. This series is all really cute. Of course, because I wanted to get the full series, I don't think I would mind getting any of these. But let's go ahead and open it up and see who we have inside. Ooh, this one looks quite elaborate for the outfit. It's pretty wide. And who do we have? One, two, three. Oh, it's the Phoenix one. Oh, look at that hair. The hair is so cool for the Phoenix one. And if you weren't familiar, all Lauras come with a stand. And here is our card for the Phoenix. A lot simple of a card compared to the other two. And unlike the previous series, you definitely need the stand for these ones. They do have the feet kind of tilted like they're wearing high heels, so you really need this stand for most of them just because the feet aren't flat, which is too bad, but I think this figure is beautiful. I absolutely love it. The sleeves of the dress are just really cool, and I love the style of this. We have like a cape detail, which is just really cool. And I love the gold details on this one as well. I don't know if this is like super based on ancient fashion or if it's more just like a mythical interpretation of it. 
But this character is really cute. I love the eye makeup and the details. It's just so incredible. And we even have little gold anklets, which is super cute. I wish we could all go around wearing really elaborate hair like this because I think it's really beautiful. And I love how we have a bit of a metallic sheen to the hair as well. Like I said before, I was intending to get a full series for the collection. I'm still debating if I am. I thought I'd pick one box up for this video, but I'm pretty sure I might end up getting the full series eventually. It's one of my favorite Laura series, so you'll definitely see more of it on the channel. And we are halfway through our unboxing. We only have two left. I think next we're going to do Mimi in Ancient Style. This is from Hey One and Mihu. And I love the packaging for this series. It is just so amazing. The illustration work is incredible. So this series is based off of Korean ancient style and not Chinese, but I really wanted to open up this series again. I already have opened up four boxes of this, I believe, or three, as a collaboration with Kika Goods last year. But I really wanted to open up this blind box, so I included it in this video, even though technically it doesn't fit. So forgive me for that one, but I'm just so curious who I have inside of this. The Secret Edition is so incredible, I'm really hoping it's that one or our kind of moody skeleton one. I'll definitely link you to the other unboxing though if you didn't watch it and wanted to check me out opening more from this series. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up and see who I got. And the bag for this series is so pretty. It's very simple, but I love the gold. Just super pretty packaging. And hopefully I don't get a repeat since I already have so many of these. One, two, three. And we have my favorite one. Oh, it is the super amazing dragon one from the front. Oh, and this one has a cute accessory as well. And here is our super pretty card. I wasn't able to find a translation for this. It did translate that the inscription on the lantern says, as one wishes. This figure is super cool. I love the dragon on top, even though it's a repeat for me. I just love the dragon. It's so spectacular. It just reminds me of the never-ending story. I just love how the dragon's swirling around the head. It's just an incredible figure. And the heads for these figures are quite big, so sometimes they do have a tendency not to stand super well. But I just love all the details. We have our dragon egg head with our kind of antlers coming out and our really cool bow in the back. And I love the ears for Mimi, just such a cute figure. I really like this series. I'm sad I didn't get the one that I wanted or the secret. I would have definitely preferred to get a new one for this series, but this figure is still really cute. I do recommend this series, and if this isn't your style, they have series that are all different. And I thought we would leave our Nancy series to last from Roll Life. Nancy, of course, has so many series based on Chinese fashion. If you didn't know the lore behind Nancy, Nancy has the bubble in her mouth because she's traveling back in time. So, of course, a lot of her designs are based on ancient Chinese fashion. I just decided to pick up a super recent Nancy series that I've never showed on my channel before. So, we have Nancy at the age of 12. And this series is really fun because we have Nancy with a cat. I think there's a cat in every single one of these, which I think is super cute. And we have our typical 12 designs and one secret edition. I think all of these designs are really cute and I really love Nancy from Roll Life. So I think I'll probably like any one we get. All right, let's go ahead and open up our Nancy at the age of 12. Ooh, this one feels really big. <laughs> Maybe we have the one on the cover that has the cute fish. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, we got one of the ones I wanted. Oh, this is a cute one with a fan. And here is the stand. 
And here is our card for our Flutter Butterfly. What a cute name. And this one, you can definitely tell it has that butterfly theme. On the back, we have in the hair these super cute butterfly wings that are in clear vinyl. They look so cool. We also have some gold butterfly details on the dress. I really love the gold butterfly details. I think that is super cute. And it goes really well with the pink and the green for the outfit. This outfit is so pretty. And I love the fan. The fan looks so incredible. The green ombre that's happening is really cute. I think the only negative thing about this figure is my hand kind of looks like a bit garbled or gnawed on. It's not super well done, and I have never really noticed an issue with Roll Life's quality before, so that's a bit disappointing. But the hair and everything about this figure is super cute, and our bubble that Nancy has even matches the dress in green. This is just such a beautiful figure. I knew leaving Nancy to last was a really good choice. Nancy is so cute. I'm sad I didn't get one of the ones with the cat. I think about maybe less than half of this series doesn't have a cat, but this one is super cute, so I'm not sad about getting this one, but it definitely makes me tempted to pick up more of them, just so I could get a Nancy with a really cute calico cat. I definitely want to get more Nancy at the Age of 12 series. Just such a cute, fun series from Roll Life. They've been doing so many good Nancy series lately. But definitely in the fall, I think I need to do some more Roll Life unboxings. And here's a look at all of the figures I unboxed in today's Treasure Trove video. What was your favorite series or character from our ancient Chinese style? I definitely think mine is still our Aroma Princess. I think that one is just so special and unique. And I really love my Nancy and my Laura one. I think those ones are so fun. And I think our Mimi and our Ancient Time one are super cute as well. I don't think there was any bad series in today's video. I would definitely recommend any of them. Of course, depending on your own personal taste, but I definitely wouldn't say any of them were bad. I really hope you enjoyed today's video though and you had a lot of fun watching me. I will have a vote up on my community tab right now where you can vote on what my next treasure trove video will be. So go ahead and subscribe and check out my community tab and vote on which theme you want to see next. I hope you have a great day and thanks so much for watching.